Okay, so here I am today, Chef Sour, Mrs. Sour, and Chef Chase. So we try to kick it up a notch and give you some hats. I'm back to my Ice Up Gear IMS. Rock on. What's it say, Jay? Hashtag Ice Up Perseverance. Perseverance, dedication, and positivity. Positivity. All right, so. Here we go. So this is a delicious recipe. It is a quick bread also. It used to be a regular baking powder biscuit that you would just butter uh, and have as a dinner roll, but I kicked it up a notch and I like things sweet, so I add a lot of sugar and cinnamon and then we'll put an icing on top. So this may be a two day recipe, it may be a one day, but I think it's gonna be a one day. Okay, so Jake and I are gonna measure everything out. We know what we're gonna be measuring. Jake's gonna be measuring the baking powder, the sugar and the salt, and I'm gonna be working on the milk, the flour, and I think that's it, just the milk and flour, okay? Because the uh, shortening or butter is already measured. All right, so I'm doing two cups of sifted flour. So like I said, the flour already comes sifted these days. So I have to make sure I have a spoon. But these are great to make at home. They're really, really simple. And a lot of you are gonna have the ingredients, okay, that we use here today. So do try them at home. Your family will love you for this. Maybe not for the extra pounds on them <laughs> because they're so good. Oops, I'm sorry, my cord is in the way, sir. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so my hat's probably, you're not going to be able to see my hat, but I could renegade, renegade. So, Jake, did we tell this class? I don't think we told this we class did. the good news. This is my seventh graders, sixth uh, and eighth period. I'm in seventh grade. Pete and Jake's in seventh grade, but tell them what you're getting. Uh-oh, I think somebody's going to be mad in my eighth period class. I hope she's making that PowerPoint she said she was going to make her family. I'm getting a golden doodle on like the 23rd. Next week or something. 23rd. He probably, when they're going to be watching this video, is when you're going to be getting a little puppy delivered and tell them your, the name that we're going to keep that he was given. Louie, he's going to be eight weeks old. Little Louie, little yeah, Louis. so little Louie's coming into our home. I hope Louie's going to be a good puppy for he's us. Fun. He's going to be so cute. We got a video of him last night we on FaceTime with little Louie, and he looks like a very rambunctious little boy, okay? Full of energy. Am I measuring flour? Okay, so I was too busy talking. So, yes, I am supposed to be measuring flour. And hopefully Jake it was measuring properly too. So just move that out of the way yep. so they can see. Uh-oh, what am I doing? These kids are going to tell me all the things that I've done wrong. I'm just so involved with this little puppy we've been going. I've been going to the store, getting them lots of treats. We've been ordering things online. We got him a little crate. So I'm happy about bringing a dog back into our family. Yeah. Yeah. So it should be fun be interesting. Okay, I have my two cups of flour. Probably should have used this piece for that, but oh well. If Jake was doing this, I'd probably be yelling at him. Right, kids? You, you, you notice when I get mad at him, right? Trying to keep it fun. Thank you for all the wonderful comments, whether it's you saying hi to me. I did all my stuff. You did all your stuff already? Um, you did milk. I will, I, the reason why I actually said that I was going to do the milk today is because the milk is brand new yeah, and you kind of know what happens when Jake um, measures the milk. But I may need your eyes, Jake. Okay, that okay. I can do. So thank you for all the comments. Just you guys telling me that you miss me or saying I can't, I can't wish I was back in your class cooking. It honestly means so much to me that you actually miss me, your teacher. I know you may just want to come back and cook, but I, I actually feel that some of you miss me, and I tremendously uh, do miss you. Sometimes I read it and I, I get a little choked up, okay? <laughs> I do miss you guys uh, tremendously. All right, so I'm using 1% milk because that's what they have at the store. Usually in school, we use 2%. Very rarely do I use whole milk. I mean, you should with baking. Um, but we try to not put as many calories uh, in that. It has the same amount of vitamins and minerals, it just has more calories yeah. and more fat. So how much am I supposed to measure? Okay, so three quarters of a cup. I'm gonna get down at eye level on a flat surface. Stop. Perfect, so three 
quarters of a cup eye level flat surface and that is everything so two cups of flour that's already been sifted jake has one tablespoon of the baking powder okay the baking powder is the leavening agent that's what's going to make these biscuits rise he did two teaspoons of sugar looks good half teaspoon of salt wow we're rocking it today really no mistakes uh, a quarter of a cup of shortening or butter i like to use butter so a quarter of a cup is just half of a stick which is also four tablespoons and that you could usually read that um on the uh stick there and then three quarters of a cup of milk all right, I think we're gonna, do you think we should continue? Yeah. Why How not? many minutes was that? Six. All right, so six. No, 5.50. Okay, five minutes, so 5.50. So we're gonna continue uh, with this right now. We're gonna go along with the direction. So it says, pour the flour into the large bowl. So Jake, do you wanna do, mm -hmm. oh, actually I'm gonna do that because I have that. No, I have it. No, oh. I, I have it here. Okay, so I'm gonna pour the flour. It says sifted. That's what I was getting at. Uh, I changed that down. Okay. So we're going to take the flour. Actually, maybe we should, but I think it just goes through there. Right. Okay. So grab the sifter. So Jake's saying that it does say to sift. So it's already sifted flour. And then he's going to do the next ingredient. He's just going to place the sifter right on top of the flour. And then he's going to take the baking powder, the sugar, and the salt and put it through the sifter. And then sift that into the flour. All right. And then I'm gonna talk a little bit as he does that. Today you'll be using a pastry blender. So if you don't have a pastry blender, like I did in today, so I was over at the store actually buying measuring spoons, another set of measuring spoons. There's about 20 pastry blenders in school, but I can't get to school right now. So I bought a pastry blender. I just like to use the pastry blender. But if you don't have a pastry blender, you would just use two butter knives and you're just really cutting up the butter and uh, using a rocking motion. So once you have those four ingredients in a bowl, Jake's gonna make a well, okay? So he's gonna make a well, so he's gonna look to see what he has here. So we have a fork, he's just gonna make a well in the middle, which means to make a hole in the middle, all right? Oh wait, wait a second. Using the pastry blender, make a well in the middle of the ingredients. Did I do the butter yet, though? Where are you looking? I have to add the butter. Stir baking powder. Yeah, but when did we? Sugar, salt. Oh, I flour. forgot number three. Oops, my bad. So stir, he's supposed to be stirring yeah, right I'm now. Gonna get a spoon cause use that, that's a spoon. Just use that. So he's gonna stir that. And then, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I haven't made these in a while. They are so good. I wish we had somebody here that was going to eat them, but hopefully Mr. Sour will come in. I mean, I'd love to eat them, but I'd have to work oh out my. twice today. Oh. oh, well, what are we going to do? We're going to just roll with it. All right, so he stirred that, and then I'm just going to take this. So this is chilled butter. You don't want it warm. We just took it out of the refrigerator. You want it to be cold because if it was too warm, it would... Can I like... It, nope, nope, so I'm going to teach them. Oh, this yeah, is yeah. called a pastry blender, and what you do is you use it in a rocking motion. So it's going to be hard okay to cut up and you're going to see that it's going to stick that's why you could use the fork that you have close by to get that out but you, what you're going to do is you're going to cut it into small pieces the size of like small um peas okay so this will just take a minute or two what i like to do i'm a righty so, okay so with my right hand i'm using the pastry blender in a rocking motion and in my left hand i'm just holding the bowl okay Anything you want to see? So Jake, I know, shared with you the other day also. He was looking for some subscribers, and I know I changed my assignment not due until Tuesday, so I'm sure they're still going to um, subscribe to you, right, Jake? I yeah, think you I got two six. more, right? Yes, six. You I had four. Okay, so maybe try to share that. Uh, just look up V-S-A-U-E-R-X. You don't have to do the underscore. Yeah, I want subscribers. I have a video. He's got a video. It's like 19... Okay, he's been spending a lot of time up there on Xbox, of course, after doing all of his schoolwork, especially on these rainy days we've been having. All right, so I don't see any large chunks. Nope. It really didn't stick to my pastry blender, so thanks to Target. Target had one pastry blender left today, okay, so I bought that there. All right, and then now I think our directions say to make a well. So now you're going to make a well, Jake. 
And there's no wooden spoon in this recipe. There's no um, rubber scraper. We're really just going to be using a fork in a moment to mix it all together. And the dough should just come off the side of the bowl. Okay. So it says to add your milk all at once. Did you want to stir it? Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to stir it. It says quickly stir it. Nope. With a fork. Make a well. Stir quickly with a fork until the dough leaves the side of the bowl. So you're going to stir. Nope, you're gonna just do it in a circular motion and it's gonna eventually come off the side of the bowl if he keeps doing it properly. It'll all come together as a soft dough. Oh my God, I'm so bad. You didn't see that, did you students? Of course not, they weren't watching. Yeah. They're watching for us to do something wrong. My hat is falling off. I'm trying not to touch my hair, but my hair is also getting long too. So he's going to kind of use the back of that fork and smush in all that dry flour. Can I just show them? I'm just going to show you guys. Okay, so he's doing a good job, but then there's some of that dry flour. But you see as he's doing it, it's all coming off the side of the bowl. Okay, so you can, I'm, I'm going to finish this off, and I just want you to sprinkle our surface. <gasps> okay, so let me move the cord. So he's going to lightly flour our surface. We're just using our counter. I'm gonna go a little bit more than that. We will have to stop the video, no more. So see how this is all, look, I'm just twisting, twisting, it all came off the side of the bowl. Okay, so this is gonna roll out. Oh, my rolling pin's over there. Can you grab the rolling pin? Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to do this in two parts because this has two um, go in a bag. Okay, so I'm gonna take this in my hand, but hold up. And then, because we have to knead it first, and that's actually part two, so we don't need that now. My bad. Can you put it with the other stuff so maybe they can't see it? Maybe they can. Oh, they can't see it. Okay. Okay, so you're going to make sure it's not too sticky. And then what you're going to do is you're going to knead it. Do you remember how to knead the three words? Um, push, fold, turn. Okay, push, fold, turn. So I'm going to show you once. You push, you fold, you turn and you're going to do that 10 to 15 strokes. So I just did it once. You're going to do it now. That's good. Two. Three. Four. It's getting sticky. You just kind of roll it around in that flour. I could usually tell just by the way that it feels. Is that like five? Now in school, once he's done this about 10 to 15 strokes, we would just pop it in a plastic bag, okay? Counting? Nine. Okay. So I'm going to go 10, and then I'm going to see how it feels. Ten. Okay. Can you see how many minutes are on the clock? 15. So I think we're going to do this as... I think we're going to do this as um, a date too. Okay, so it's nice and soft right now. Um, if I had some cooking spray, I would just spray uh, like one or two squirts, but I don't even think I have to. All right, so I'll let you know. So you would just hand this to me, put it in the bag, um, close it up. It doesn't have yeast. It's a quick bread, so we don't have to leave the bag open and let it rise. All right. But this would be uh, day one. And then we're going to show you day one, day, day two, or part two uh, in a moment when we roll it up. Okay. Here we are. <laughs> part. Is this our bloopers? Maybe. Okay. This is part two of cinnamon buns or, okay. Can I have that? Tell them what they are. Tongs. Tongs. Okay, so we'll be using the tongs. Okay. See how fun they're going to be? When you rip your head off and they see what your hair looks like. All right, here we go. So now we're going to lightly flour our surface. Do you want to lightly flour it? So this is the bag that we put it in. And we're going to roll this out. So this is where I made a change the recipe you would roll it out thick okay and then use a biscuit cutter and just make simple uh, biscuits that you would uh, butter on let's go a little bit more because I'm going to try to make this nice and big so you never want to start rolling it as a ball so I flattened a little and I pushed it down I'm gonna put a little bit more okay so I'm going to flour both sides 
lightly flour the top. I'm going to quickly roll it out. I could also put a little bit of flour on my rolling pin. And I don't like to use the handles. And what Jake's going to do is he's going to grab the pastry brush and the butter and just get ready because I'm going to roll this out. So like I said, if I was doing this, the, what it originally was, okay, is I would roll this about a half inch thick, okay, and then I would use a biscuit cutter and cut it. But I like things really sweet. As you guys know, I love my candy, I love my Starburst, I love my fruit snacks. I'm gonna make sure it's not sticking. Just kind of move that a little bit. And then I'm gonna try to make this pretty big, okay, because that means the more cinnamon buns I'm going to get. Okay, so if you see, I'm rolling it out from the center in all directions. Jake, do you see anything in that dough? Do no. you see all those little bits? Yeah. Okay, so what that is, is the butter. Oh. Whoops. So this is kind of like when we make pizza, you'll roll it out from the center out in all directions. Okay, one more second, and then Jake's gonna Really not looking for much of any shape. I'm just going to roll it from right to left or top to bottom. Give me one more second. You don't want it too thin. Or you don't want it too thick, I mean. Okay, so he's going to now take the butter that I've melted. I've melted about one to two tablespoons of butter. And he's going to generously get it all over. And then he's just going to brush the whole thing. What the butter does, it's going to add a little flavor. And it's also going to allow the cinnamon sugar mixture to adhere. Okay, so again, I'll share this recipe with you on Teams as well as my Ebor. That way, if you do want to do it at home, I already have the butter already measured for you in school and I'll already have uh, the cinnamon and sugar. Just because I give you a certain amount of butter too, doesn't mean you need to use it all. So I'm going to tell you not to use any more because you have a bunch there. You just kind of push it over. Perfect. All right, that's good. And then all I'm going to do is now take handfuls of this cinnamon and just get it all over. Do you want to do some of this, Jake? Or are you just going to have me do it? No, you can do it. Okay. Actually, I want to do it. Try to get it everywhere. And then what I even do sometimes is then take my hand, Oops. just kind of spread it around. And actually take them. So usually what I give you in school, you're going to use. And I use everything that was in that bowl. Okay, so this is the part where you really want to be careful. So now I'm going to roll it. So if I roll it up or down or diagonal, it's not going to be as long as a like long snake, I'll call it, okay? So I'm going to go from this side. So I'm going to take it nice and tight. Now I don't have a big cutting board like we would in school. Are they going to be circles? So I'm probably just going to use my counter because I can cut uh, on my counter. Are they going to be circles? Yep, so he's asking, are they going to be circles? They are going to be circles. So I'm just going from right to left, top to bottom. And then when I get to the end, is we're going to take a knife and we're going to cut it. Yeah, I could already smell how good it's that cinnamon. So my mom used to make some kind of cinnamon roll like this. And I remember when I was young, so, so many years ago, Grandma would make these uh, for me when I got off of the school bus. So when you get to the end, you're going to kind of push that up and make sure it sticks. Now, if you guys were in school, we usually have a large cutting board and we'll put it on the cutting board, but I'm actually just going to use my counter because you can cut on the granite countertop. Okay, so what I also like to do, so be careful if we are doing this in school, these knives are very, 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 very sharp. Okay, so what Jake's going to do is we have a parchment line baking sheet. Remember, parchment paper is different than wax paper. Parchment paper replaces greasing a cookie sheet and actually helps with cleanup. So I'm going to take the end piece off first because there's usually nothing in there. And then I'm going to cut about an inch. And then Jake, when he sees that I'm not close there anymore because I don't want to cut him, he's going to pick it up and then place them like that. Okay? How many are Oh, you could do like three in a row, maybe four. So when he holds it, though, he's going to take it and grab it tight. Because see how all that sh that um, sugar is coming out? That's okay. Another one. It happens. So that's why you do want to roll it really tight, too. Okay? And that's why we put a little extra um, in there. So if you like Cinnabon or something, these are just as good. And you're going to be making them. So they're even better when made by you. I'm going to... 
put that one to the side too. All right, so they're basically about all the same size. They're just going to rise a little bit because we used that baking powder, which was the leavening agent. That's all right. That's it. And these are going to go in the oven. They usually take anywhere from 10, uh, I mean 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to go about 12 minutes. Okay, and then I'm going to check it from there. And then we're going to do another portion where I'm going to show you a very quick um, icing using confectionery icing. sugar, milk, and mm, confectionery oh, sugar, awesome. milk, and a little bit of vanilla. All right, so we'll color icing. It's a white colored icing. Okay. Okay, so Jake's going to turn the video off. These are going to bake. It's going to make my home smell absolutely delicious uh-oh here we go again whatever we start with we have to end with transition okay the cinnamon buns are about to come out of the oven i do want you to know i did make that icing i did two cups of confectionery sugar one teaspoon of vanilla and then i drizzled about a quarter of a cup of milk in there it's going to depend on how much uh, uh the, what type of milk you're using on the consistency you can make it thin you can make it thick that is going to be up to your preference all right so i'm going to leave jake here for a moment you know what happens when that happens we never know you should have your sleeves up though still see if i so entertain them maybe i should throw a cinnamon bun at him because one of my kids in sixth period one of my kids said i i would love to see you being careful that's how i would love to see you throw a banana at jake Tell them thanks a lot, that thank young you. man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so they are a nice golden color. I'm gonna make sure I don't burn myself. I'm just gonna show you. Oh my gosh, if there was smell a vision, doesn't it smell delicious in yeah. here? They smell so good. So what I like to do is then take my icing. I like to just pour it into a liquid measuring cup. And if we were in school, I usually just give you like a plastic cup. That way there's one less thing for uh, you guys to have to clean up at the end of the period. Usually you're running out the door because these do take some time. Uh, you put them on a plate and take them to go. And then I just take a little bit, drizzle a little bit of icing. Now, Jake, are you going to try? No, I'm messing up. You, no, I'm saying, are you going to eat one? Yeah, are you going to taste one? one? Okay, so Jake's very picky. Not much he likes to try I usually takes some pressuring but these taste so good they look so good I'm gonna have the small one. Of course, and of course he's gonna have the small one this is something you would want to eat right away so maybe I shouldn't have put all the icing on but no matter what time mr. sour comes home I'm sure he's gonna try one okay just watch so what I would oh oh sorry whoops burned him can you hold yeah. this <laughs> So I'm going to then try, trying to hurt him. Trying to hurt him. Mrs. Sauer is the one being careless again. You guys would either be taking them with your hands. Whoops. Oh, that one fell right apart. Popping them into a bag and then tasting them. And then all your friends are going to be coming to you saying, oh my gosh, what did you make in Mrs. Sauer's class? All right, I'm going to push this to the side. And I hate to eat in front of you. But they're going to be really, really hot. But these smell so good. I'm going to look for the best looking one. Now remember, they're going to be hot, especially the cinnamon. And we're going to take a taste in front of you. Are they hot? Mm. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm you want to stay with us because we eat the whole plate of them so cool aren't they not bad mm. okay we're going to stop the video but you really should try these you really should try these at home they are so good it's a very simple recipe another quick bread this is sour and jake